what's going on move the mouse here back in city skylines town of rockdale with our let's play series episode number 18 in the last episode we reached our 90,000 population milestone which unlocked monuments but in order to unlock those we've got to place some unique buildings down so basically for each unique building or i'm sorry for each monument there's different levels of unique buildings and we basically have to put one down in each of these levels in order to uh, unlock the monument. So we have a ton of money in the bank. I think we've got enough to do all this. Um, and as you can see, the ones that have those little uh, gear and hammer icons, or I should say wrench and hammer, uh, those ones have already been built. So they are on the map. Uh, if we go into level two, we built our what posh mall and the grand mall mall of moderation. Sorry. So we've got to find some spots for some of these other ones. Um, and let's take a look at that. So this is a gigantic tower. This might look kind of cool somewhere over there in our circular city, but I don't think this is going to fit anywhere. We could put it on the outer ring here. That's about it. Uh, and I don't know if I left my blocks big enough. Yeah, we could throw it in there. It would be kind of cool. We could throw it in Kent Park. But that is, you know, the, the, the smaller suburban, not suburban, but the smaller low density residential. So that might look a little funny there, but it might look a little bit better kind of in this main downtown area. So if we can find a spot for it, I think it would fit here. We don't have to overwrite that park. It's kind of on this main central road artery here. But let's see. How is it going to let us do that before? Right there. Let's do it. Gigantic tower in the center of town there. Next, we got to cram in a couple of park-like objects. The Fountain of Life and Death and the Friendly Neighborhood Park. These very easily could sit nicely sort of in our uh, downtown area here. I don't want to move too many people out. And it won't quite fit between those streets but if we knock these streets back a little bit we could put it there we've got a, a unique building there already though so ideally we want to spread these out a little bit now the the red circle that you see there that's the noise pollution bubble the green circle is the happiness uh, effect so we don't have anything over here on this side like this would kind of be a good spot there's a little bit of noise complaints that'll happen um, but it would be pretty good for uh for happiness over here on this this side of the, the circular city. I think we're just gonna kind of drop these in wherever they first really seem right. We could we could nitpick these a lot, but uh, this one here. Let's see what this one is. The friendly neighborhood park. This has a gigantic uh, a gigantic happiness effect. Now let's see, will this fit here? So it'll fit here and I could still continue my uh, my roads that way. Let's continue our roads out a little bit because I do need to uh, meet some serious residential demand right now. And rather than have that right across the street from another park, we'll extend this, uh, this avenue out a bit. So let's go to our straight tool. We'll bring it down, say five more. Will it let me snap there? I hate when it does that, when it wants to snap to something else. Now, if we do some... You know what we haven't done? Is the gravel paths. If we go... I forget they moved this. I'm pretty sure they moved this. It used to be over here. Where is it? Where the heck did they move the footpaths to? Landscaping, right? Yes. These are pavement paths. These are uh, for pedestrians rather than for traffic. So let's connect these to give people some ways to kind of get through these blocks. It's kind of weird how these work. You don't actually snap them to the road. You snap them just inside of it and they will connect. So like if I'm right here, it won't work. If I'm there, it will. 
So that means that, that pedestrians can walk through there, but uh, but cars won't travel on that. And that'll be good because if we make this a nice kind of thick uh, residential pocket over here, uh, give them some other ways to get around. But let's do that to start. Let's go back over here and try and center that uh, park on this. So it's one... So if we put it that way, it's it fills up that space. But I'm going to do that because that still affects happiness over there just a little bit, but it will make this area over here very happy. Since we have that big uh, residential demand right now, let's meet that with some some area over here. I forget, did we do grass streets over here? We didn't. Okay. We did up there, I believe, in the suburban area, if I remember right. So let's do a couple blocks over here. We'll go kind of close to the highway, but not all the way up to it. And we'll spin a couple blocks off this side. We're going to do three-way intersections to avoid those four-way, so we won't come into here. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, kind of bringing this down here. We'll bring it to that length for now, and then we can connect that street up. We knocked out a, uh, an office there, but that's okay. We need to do water next. Power will spread once uh, buildings move in here, and they have a tendency to move in next to other buildings rather than just jumping out to the middle of nowhere. So we should be good there, and then we'll just extend our coverage out. We'll go out the 440 just to be safe and get that minimal overlap. Then that way, if we need to extend those pipes, we can do that into that area, and I'll try and avoid these uh, these slot pipes that I tend to do sometimes when I get a little uh, lazy or just want to speed things along. So let's go define some high density residential here. We've got some parks that'll keep those offices happy. Parks to keep these residents happy. Hopefully some people will move in there. We continue our spread this way and we could put maybe some office over here by the waterfront. We could also look at, and let's jump up here for a minute. How's our farmland doing? One abandoned building, not too bad. They are complaining they need some more workers. So we could move some more residents in up here. I do need to look at this. This is a problem. Let's take a look at our intersections real quick. So... So we've got a lot of trucks coming down the hill wanting to get off the highway. What if we gave them a little route underneath? Let's see if they start taking this. I'm gonna have to knock out a couple houses to do this, I think. So they're all getting on here on this strip. This is moving along okay. What if we did this? I wonder if they'll even take this. We could come under here and, and just hook them direct up to the highway. We'll come back to that. The farm, the farmland is not our top priority right now. The top priority right now, I'm getting sidetracked, is getting these unique buildings in. And we've done all of level two at this point. So the level three buildings, we haven't touched any of these right now. We're still sitting at over 5 million in the bank. We've got the Grand Mall. We can see kind of, again, where you've dropped in these unique buildings so we can spread them around the map. It's tempting, and I, I did this in one of the first maps I ever built. It's like you just put all the big buildings in a big downtown city area, but you have all these overlapping bubbles of noise pollution, and it just makes people absolutely sick, and they hate it. It kind of negates some of the happiness uh, effect that you can bring to the area instead. We could... We could drop something in over here because it would be nice to kind of fill this in, this pocket over here by the highway. And then up there can be all farmland and get a little bit loose over there on the other side. But maybe we could move 
this street down. Let's uh, let's get our six lane tree streets down here just to continue this avenue. And we'll go down to here for now. And we'll throw our noisy mall. Which one is this? The grand? The grand mall. That's a big boy right there. It's a thick one. We'll throw him right there. Now this one, the tax office, this is kind of a, a cool looking building. It's not too big. You can see it's uh, it's happiness is pretty decent, but this one also has a, a, a pretty big noise bubble in comparison to some of the others. Looks like we've got to get power over there for now because we haven't zoned off any of that other stuff. What do we need? We need industrial, so let's go with some office space here. See if we can get some offices to spread down this road and spread the power for us. That would be great. You guys could help out there. Already moving in, perfect. And then we can connect this, maybe this back road up afterwards. This definitely does not need to be a six lane avenue here, but, but we'll take it. The car's pulling into the mall already. Nice, First, our first shopper with a dog. Are dogs allowed in that mall? Hopefully it's a service service animal. Um, power should spread. We'll be back to that. If power doesn't spread, we can always run it uh, manually, but we shouldn't have to. Let's just connect this up. We will curve it there to there. That should provide garbage coverage and hopefully fire coverage is good over there, but we will revisit that. We can afford for these buildings to burn down. It's okay. Now, where do we want to put the tax office? I think the tax office should be. I didn't realize, I think, when I dropped that in, how close it was to another unique building. Let's try and get the tax office, like, right in here. Somewhere. Where would be cool? I mean, not that having a tax office at, at all is cool, but right across the street, was this a cemetery? What if we did that? We are going to knock out a couple residential buildings to do that. But we just defined some residential space, so... That can work. Up next is the courthouse, and this one also has a pretty big... Uh, pretty big bubble of noise compared to sound. We could put the courthouse right next to the dump. I just realized we haven't put a jail in yet, either. Courthouse, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cram the courthouse in over here. As close as we can get to the highway. Slope too steep. It'll let us do it down here. Okay. Courthouse, this one's a big one. The Colossal Order Offices. So all these have an upkeep, but they also bring happiness. They bring people into town. They're technically leisure spots. I don't know what, what you know, who's hanging out at the tax office for fun, but... You come down there. This is all office park down here, if I remember right. It's such a, such a big building. What do you think? Put it, maybe we can put it in the middle of the farmland. What do you, that would look appropriate, right? I'm just kidding. Sorry. If anyone thought I was going to do that for a second, I apologize. Um, we could throw it over here in our industry area. That might be all right. You know, you have uh, all this industry and here's the, the, the big corporation office that, uh, that controls all the industry. We could try and center that in on here. What about like that, maybe? Is that going to be kind of weird sitting off to the edge of the map, though? That might be. I kind of want to cram it into our downtown area somewhere. Ooh, I can actually fit it right in there between the train tracks and that road. I'm going to do it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if it's beautiful, but we're 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 trying to get to where we can drop the monuments in. So, 
We can always move this stuff around later. Did I forget to water up here? Or are we low on water? Let's take a look. No, I forgot to water up here. I did not extend that pipe out. That is... That is bad city management right there. While we're here, we will run uh, around this belt in case I do start to zone it and then forget. And then just to make sure, if I do any side streets through here, let's cover this off. Should be able to go right up the middle there. Perfect. Okay, we're covered there. Back to our uniques. And the last one that we have to drop in is the fountain, the official park. Oh, we got a fire happening over here. Did we do fire coverage over here? We got two fires happening. We've got a fire department. I wonder if that's the one that I set up over by the uh, the cargo harbor. Or if it's the one coming across from over there. We probably should do that. We probably should set up fire and police over here. Let's go with the big ones so that we can continue on down the road. See if we can get the big police station in here. We can, right across the street. We did not do any school coverage over here while we're while we're in the area. Just drop that in real quick. Throw a high school down here, maybe. What is this building that moved in? That is totally gonna get overwritten when we carry on the street down through here. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta uh you gotta make way for progress. We don't have good dump coverage over here. That that nearest dump is all the way over there, I just realized. Um, man, it's a constant battle, City Skylines. Let's do something. Where do we want to stick a dump over here? We could put another dump on this uh, nice farmland, <laughs> like we did over there. We could run this, let's do a road. Let's, before that that people, the, the people there get too comfortable and moved in, let's just extend this out all the way, very close to the train tracks and then all the way out to the highway. And we'll stick a dump down here for now. We'll throw it on that road. And then on this back side road, we'll do a couple of uh, incinerators. Maybe we'll do a bunch of incinerators. Oh, just shy there. And then we'll extend this out. Because we will end up zoning this off at some point. Now you don't need to provide electricity to the dump or to the incinerators because the incinerators themselves are making electricity as they burn off garbage. This is way overkill here, but we can connect this over into this neighborhood. I'm trying to think, where's the nearest dump there? It's also all the way across town, so uh, maybe we can come over. Let's see if we have room to get over the... Uh, we do. We can get over the... So it looks like if we just connect it. We'll do that for now. So that provides dump coverage to hopefully over here, as well as down there, and back into our uniques. So where are we gonna put this official park? We could throw it kind of down here. See how we can slip it in and overwrite as little as possible. I think that works. Those are all of our level three buildings. And now we start to get into some of the bigger stuff. So especially the uh, stadium up first or opera house, opera house and stadium are two pretty big 
sizable buildings. Um, you can see here, this happiness bubble is huge on this, uh, but it's a massive footprint, so we've got to find a spot for that. Maybe we could do it kind of on the waterfront here. Just zooming out to see... This is the better avenue to support traffic. We don't have any highway exits over here, though. We'd like it to be near a highway exit because it's going to generate some traffic. You know what? We'll start planning over here. With a new six lane road coming south. We'll just bring this way down. We'll bring it down to here. Because we're going to want to bring that highway across the river. Start populating over here. We've got a, a decent amount of room over here on this side of the map that we can uh, we can start building on. But for right now, let's see if our... Uh, did our building over here... Our building over here got powered, but let's make sure it stays powered because these buildings are going to move out if they don't have water. Now, I want this opera house. This is going to be pretty easily accessible from the highway here, which that beltway is not very busy, as you can see. It's flowing along pretty well. And as I say that, we've got one really sloppy exit here. That's the one that everybody wants to take, apparently. So we'll have to work on that a bit. But I want to get this opera house close enough to the city that it is going to have a positive effect of happiness. And you can see that noise bubble kind of dies off right there at the highway anyways. But it should make some people in the city happy. Wow, that did not have the uh, the pop that I was hoping for. Now, we'll water before we forget. I think, yeah, I brought, I brought waters right off those four quadrants of the hub. So we'll just bring this all the way down the road for right now. And let's see what we can do for power. Easiest we can do now, just jump the street. And in the meantime, again, we've got a huge industrial push. But let's do some commercial over here. Because, you know, night on the town, hitting the opera up, maybe you want to uh, do some shopping, some dining. So we'll surround it on either side with that for now. There's enough commercial demand that I'm hoping that will start to fill up. Now this one, just for aesthetics, the observatory usually would be uh, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, up on the hillside, and the perfect spot for that is up here off of our farmland. Now again, we will have to address this. This is gonna be problematic. We could get one more highway exit over here maybe. But I don't think we need I mean, I guess we could have a highway exit over there. But I kind of like that these are kind of like dead-end streets off to the end of the map. Let's come up here. We're going to put it way back in the, the corner of our farmland. We're going to run it way up the hill. So that it's got a great view of the nighttime stars. Now we'll see if that's too steep. It might be. One thing I kind of like to do here, let's see, we can get it right there. That works. Let's do that and then we'll delete this road beyond it. We'll delete the last segment here. Now this does need to get, just like all the other buildings, power and water. But instead of running power up here, What I would like to do is this. We have can we get eight. We can get eight right there. 
I think seven's going to be fine. And it should spread the power no problem right there. So it's just going to be a wind turbine windmill up on the hill there to provide power for that one building. Now we've got our observatory up there on the edge of the map. Now this is another big one. It'd be awesome if you could span this kind of over a roadway like that. You know what I mean? That'd be, that would be awesome if you could have the, the highway go through it. But unfortunately you need uh, mods to do that. This is gonna be another one that we're gonna need to work on here. <laughs> As our city grows, I've, I've been kind of moving from project to project here, just kind of trying to power things along. Um, and unfortunately, haven't really gone back to address some of the problems. So at some point we will do that. Right now, I want to kind of just spread some of these unique buildings out. We don't have much over here. Maybe right next to our train station. Well, let us sneak this in somewhere over here. Looks like the train tracks are a little too close there. I'm gonna try and center this on this block maybe over here. A little close to the um, courthouse, but Slope too steep right there. Man, that that ground I flattened out really created quite the depression there. <laughs> okay. We're moving along. We're almost on level four here. Grand Library. Be nice if we could slot that in somewhere up here. We sneak it in right there. That'd be nice, kind of good road access right off the highway, right on the corner there. Good happiness bubble. Now this one is the oppression office. So when you need oppression, that's where you go. Um, cheap upkeep. Pretty small happiness bubble, mostly a noise bubble. <laughs> so this one really doesn't have a great effect, unfortunately, but we could just, in this case, I don't want to go that close to the edge of the map, though. This is honestly just getting put in here to be put in. Um, so we'll do it off on its own right there. No one wants to be next to the oppression office. We won't even zone next to that thing. I'm just going to leave it over there by the highway. Now, this is one of the... We're not going to drop this one in yet. The Pyramid of Safety is one of the ones that you unlock for the natural disasters. That's not what we're talking about here. This is pretty much vanilla. Very limited uh, use of the DLC here, except for some of the mass transit options. So, level 5 is level 6. So, level 5, we've still got a bunch of stuff to throw in here. We've got Expo, High Interest Tower, the Aquarium... Science Center and Servicing Services Offices. That one I definitely want to throw up here somewhere. I feel like that that just belongs over here in the industry. Try and get it right next to the power plant, maybe. It's a big one, too. See, things like the Science Center, Aquarium, and the uh, Expo Center, I kind of want to have in the, the downtown area somewhere. High Interest Tower is another tall one. It's really imposing, as you can see. So I'd kind of like to find a good spot where that's appropriate. I feel like this downtown area is more appropriate than anything. Maybe if we can squeeze it in here along this coastline, that would be kind of cool, too. Um, this is all residential over here. Maybe if we kind of throw it as close as we can to this corner. That might be all right. It makes people happy now, but wait till you hear the noise. 
So I'd like to find a little area here for science, aquarium, and expo. And I think I want to build off a little neighborhood. Maybe do it over here somewhere in this patch. Or maybe over here. And what we could do is a three-way intersection to dump people off into this area. Let's see if we can make a three-way intersection fit here before we carry on across the river. I am gonna need to move these uh, sewage treatment plants, but let's see if it'll let me do this. That might be too steep of a slope to throw the three-way on. I'm gonna kinda have to do it. We might have to knock these train tracks out to do it and rebuild them after the fact. Where are we at? 94,000. Um, let's see. So for this one... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to move some stuff around here. So space already occupied. It won't let me move it. Um, let's pause. We can reconnect these train tracks very easily after the fact. So let me blow this length out. And then we will move some of our sewage treatment way down by the shipping harbor. Maybe we'll even throw it across the river for now. Just run some power over there. Where are we at? Four and a half million? It's gonna be faster. Normally you would move these, but this is just gonna be faster than me going down the river, coming back up, dragging it. That's enough, that's enough space for now. So let's go throw a bunch of these down there. I'm gonna hit play just for a minute so that hopefully we get an accurate count of where sewage treatment is at. That should be plenty for now to put put us back into the green, hopefully. We'll run this across over here. Pause it for a minute. We know we have sewage problems. Thank you. And the easiest way to get power over there is going to be to come from over here. And just run it across the river for now. We'll hit play. Hopefully all our sewage icons go away. Let's take a look. As those buildings become active, that should knock our sewage treatment well up into the green, good. We'll have to do uh, water treatment next. I'm sorry, not water treatment, water pumping stations next. But that should have given us enough room to hopefully cram a three-way intersection in here. Let's see. I don't like the angle that it's snapping at, it's kind of weird. That works. We'll go over to our highway tool and fix this. And then here we're gonna do the trusted old trick. Switch back to our straight tool. We'll come out 12 at 118 degrees. Same thing here. 12 at 118 to build ourselves a little triangle. Now, hopefully this won't have to support too much traffic, but we are going to put a couple big buildings in here. And then I want to link this up. I'm already wondering if we, if we should have a little wider avenue here around this area. We could do the trees. Let's do the trees. We'll upgrade this. Come all the way down to the water with that. And then we'll build some streets off of this. But we're going to do it kind of on the ends. So I want to be able to zone this. 
I also need to snake that train back through there, I just remembered. I think we're gonna go with a tunnel for that. I'm not gonna do... I'm not gonna do a bunch of four-lane trees, though. Can we do a two-lane tree and, and, and negate parking? Let's curve it. Come on. So we'll allow that little uh, little tree line drive down the water side. It'll look prettier once we don't have sewage flowing, flowing by there. Uh, but that lets us do that. Let's connect our trains back up real quick. Realize this one's probably running a little bit long, but there's so much to do to drop in all these buildings even if we're doing it kind of rapid fire. Yeah, this is just going to be easier if we uh, if we go underground with this. That works. So our train's just underground for now. At some point, I do, I really like the look of the elevated trains. Um, I think they look fantastic. If you've ever been to Chicago, they sound horrible. They just rattle, absolutely rattle the bridges when they travel over, uh, but they look really nice. And uh, it, it's a kind of cool aesthetic and, and space saving technique. Um, with the PC version, you can actually have mods that allow you to run it directly over the roads, like an actual L. Um, but in the vanilla version of the game, unfortunately, you do not have that as an option. So you kind of have to run them side by side, up the middle of streets, uh, do things like I did up here in Kent Park and kind of run it into the town and, and zone around it. So, I mean, there's ways you can work around it and kind of make it look cool, but um, there's definitely some cool mods that you can do for, for elevated trains above the roadways. Uh, a couple quick roads over here. A couple real quick ones. Let's just do... Get on our straight tool. We'll do that. Just so we can build out some space around this, but let's see what, what we can drop in here for, um, for the uniques. This is gonna be like our little, uh, our little park. So we've got a highway exit here. So this will allow us to support quite a bit of traffic, hopefully enough for an expo center. Where can we get this? Where will it let us build this? The aquarium. Which one's this one? The science center, science center. So there's a lot of noise bubbles happening around here, but right now it's not affecting anybody negatively because nobody lives next to these things. Um, wow, we've got we've got a lot of death happening. So we definitely need a cemetery over here somewhere. Uh, I went to garbage because we want to throw bodies in the garbage. Um, definitely want to have a cemetery over here somewhere. We'll do that while we have it out and. While we're at it, we got a ton of availability in the crematorium. Uh, but let's find a spot over here for the cemetery. Maybe we'll overwrite something in this office park. Maybe this little uh, road over here, if it will let us. No, oh, nice. It's final resting space on the water. I want it to be close enough, though, where it's actually going to impact this area well, so... Okay, that's going to impact the least up the side street. And then let's cram in a crematorium next to it, too.
Now this, I always forget to do this when I build these T's. Uh, okay, now we actually have a road route to get in and out of there. We'll do metro stops and things like that at some point for all of these. So let's stop emptying that. We'll empty this one. Just move the garbage around. We'll shift it from over here to over here. Um, I think I watered this already, right? I did, and then his power spreading. It looks like it is. He's just close enough to spread power to one another. That's awesome. And then we have a good amount of commercial demand, which isn't impacted by the noise the same way that residential is. I, I said it a thousand times, but but we can definitely move some spots, some stuff in there. Now this could be just kind of a nice little drive by the, maybe we'll leave the water side open and we'll zone off all this. That way, if you are driving along that way, you've got a nice view of the water. And again, we'll make it prettier by uh, not having it filled with sewage soon enough. Sorry, this one is running a little long. I'll see if I can, can edit it down a little bit here or there. Now, this one is the C. Yeah, C and skyscraper. So this one would be perfect over by the C. Maybe we can make it just kind of a, almost a natural extension of the, how close can I get? Right there, almost like it's an administrative office for the, the cargo port, you know, that looks kind of cool. Theater of Wonders. I might just drop this in here now for the sake of it. Um, because we should be able to support the traffic over here. As we start to expand and, and make this area all a bustling city as well too, we can definitely move some of these things around. Uh, like I said, this is not the ideal placement for a lot of this stuff. Let's go down here with this. I hate that this one doesn't let you orient the other way. We don't have anything kind of up here in this neighborhood. It would be kind of cool. I said I hated this this jagged line on the outside of the map. We could kind of start planning to build a little differently. So the part that touches the road, it wants to like put the long end of the building away from that. Slope's too steep over there. I kind of like that. I like having it near the uh, the main avenues for, for traffic purposes, but this is one of my heavier trafficked roads. So again, I think I mentioned in the last episode, like we didn't do bus routes up and down here yet. So we will definitely do that. The Cathedral Plenitude, I'm definitely going to want to move that kind of over to this side for now. Um, only because this is one of those ones that I will probably end up moving over to this side of the map anyways. And then the last one is what, the stadium? And this one is another one that we kind of want to have good highway access for, because it can bring in a ton of traffic. So just for the sake of it, we're going to throw it in there. Now I wanted to do that. Sorry, I kind of rushed through some of those, but now we have the ability to unlock all the monuments. We'll do that in the next episode and I will plan out some spots so i might run some really basic roads um off camera so that we can start to plan an infrastructure around those monuments they are so important and help your city grow even that much faster make uh things like power management and reduce uh pollution I, you know i i already know where i want the, the eden project to go for now because it has this fantastic effect of reducing pollution and if we look at our info views, and if we look at pollution, you can kind of see where it's focused on the map. So we've got the dumps, the sewage, 
another dump and incinerator. Like you can see clear as day where they are. By far our biggest offender though is up here, right? And oh, I need another dump up there. I need to empty that one. But before we go, let's cause some really good change here and start to clean up our area of industry. We're gonna move this for now. Out here is good enough for now. And I'm gonna plop the Eden project right there. And again, just for comparison, I wanna show you the, um, I'll show you a little time lapse here as we, as we cut out um, and call it quits for today's episode. So if you stuck with it this long, I really appreciate it. Sorry, we had just a ton of stuff to do and I started rushing towards the end because I know that, you know, this is a long episode, but we, we wanted to get all those unique buildings on the map um, so that we could start to plan out some of the, the monuments and plan out the infrastructure and start to fix some of our problems. Um, you know, so that's going to be kind of what the next episode's about. Again, I'll do some very minor stuff off camera to do, you know, some little roads where we can drop certain things, start to plan uh, some basics of the infrastructure out. Uh, but basically, that will be the next episode is, is all about the monuments. And then we can start kind of finalizing this city, um, build out some of the last little pockets, uh, fill it out and fix some of the problems. That's one of the biggest things that will stop your city from growing is if you can continue to let problems, especially like traffic, uh, be an issue, um, then, you know, your city will just stop growing. Um, but but we'll tackle all that in the next one. This one's already running way too long. So thanks for sticking with me. If you did enjoy the video, likes, shares, comments, they all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more great game videos and lots more City Skyline. While you're at it, hit the bell to get notifications because it's very easy for a small channel like mine to get lost in the shuffle. And until the next one, this is Move the Mouse signing off.